flash flooding and the mudslides as well as emergency rescues. We are rounding out a pretty busy 24 hours in Madison County. People in several communities are taking the brunt of the heavy rains. News 13 Cheryl Barber is live on the French Broad River in Marshall. Cheryl, we have one road that remains closed. Is that right? Yes, that's right. It's Gundertown Road in the Laurel community where a stream undercut one lane of travel there uh, in Guntertown Road. Now, yesterday afternoon's downpours forced creeks out of their banks and swamped people's homes near Marshall. One home had part of the creek running through it as flash floods turned roads and driveways into rivers. Now, the road that's getting a lot of attention from DOT crews this afternoon is the road we mentioned earlier, Guntertown Road. Rescue workers shut it down last night after a runaway creek washed dirt and gravel from under one of the travel lanes. Now, DOT officials tell us it could take three days to repair the road, depending on whether they can continue work if those heavy rains return. The DOT urges caution along Chapel Hill Road, that's near Guntertown Road, uh, as the creek along the side of that road there washed away the shoulder. Now, anyone traveling along that stretch of Chapel Hill Road should watch out for DOT uh, trucks and equipment as they try to shore up the riverbanks there. Now we're giving you a view right here of the French Broad River as it runs through Marshall and you can tell that it is running fast. It is uh, very uh, showing a lot of mud in it obviously and it is very very washed out. So at this point um, we don't have any flooding down here in Marshall at the moment uh, but down in Hot Springs the French Broad River did cover River Road for a while. That's not uncommon when we get a lot of rain, so be careful if you're traveling in that area as well. Now, flash flood watch continues for Western North Carolina as everyone living in flood prone areas should be prepared uh, for any additional rainfall today. And the warning from rescue workers remains the same. If your uh, creek near you starts uh, flooding, move to higher ground and never drive through any standing water on any road. Reporting live in Marshall, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.